So welcome to another Java program tutorial and in this tutorial uh, I'm just going to be briefly showing you how to use escape operators and the different types. So what an escape operator is, is basically let's say you're outputting text on the screen. You can't literally, t there is no way for you to literally go onto the enter line. You can't physically just press enter to go on the next line. You have to use a, a escape op operator which is using a backslash. Or, for example, if you're wanting to go like forward one tab, so doing a bunch of spaces basically, or um, if you wanted to do something like double or single quotation marks inside of the uh, the text that's being displayed. So let me show what you show you what I mean. We're just gonna have a quick thing that says system dot out dot print ln, and in here, let's say we want to type hello. Oops, and on and on the next line, we want to type higher. We would do this slash n. We can't physically do enter there because that just won't work. So what we have to do is we have to do slash n for a new line, and then we just put a semicolon after that. Save, run, and oh, sorry, it's backslash. Made a mistake there. And you see they go on separate lines, even though we didn't physically go on a separate line here. Now what about if we wanted to put like a tab space between them? Well, what we do then is just T. And then we just run. And then it comes out like that. So we have this like tab space in between. Um, also, if we want to do, let's say, um, let's say we want to output Ben said I like cake well this in proper grammar this should be in speech marks so if we were to do that it would be getting confused between these speech marks here and these speech marks that are telling us that it's a string so in order to do this we just put a backslash in front of it and it's kind of all messed up a bit here because it got confused so now there's backslashes in front of it it's pretty much just ignoring this and it's putting it as a string rather than the code and the same thing with this one right here so if we save this and run that we see it says Ben said I like cake with um, speech marks around it we can also do the same with single quotations just like that now what if you were to want to put a backslash, a backslash? so let's say you want it let's just say um, directory and you want to do C colon backslash that isn't gonna work let's just do like users after that that's not gonna work but what you can do is put a double backslash and it will only read that as one so you see double and if we just run this it reads it just as one since it's ignoring the first one and then counting in the second one as a string and not the code that's pretty much it for uh, escape operators so thank you for watching this uh, quick tutorial don't forget to comment rate and subscribe and i will see you in the next tutorial